So guys, Butterfly Guard. Butterfly Guard is one of the best guards in Jiu Jitsu, not only because you can use it to achieve sweeps and submissions, but because it leads into so many other great guards. You can get it to lead into close guard, you can get it to lead into X guard, into single leg X, Ashigarami type guard, deep half guard. It's a tremendously versatile guard and a tremendously potently effective guard. But today we're gonna to have a look at doing everything from one variable, one bit of impetus here, which is gonna be like a shoulder clamp. Now this shoulder clamp can be used for control to say stop someone striking you, but as we'll see tonight, it's a great submission and a great sweep and a great setup for other things too. So this is gonna be a bit of a three part series tonight, this class guys. So I'm going to borrow black, white, uh, Chris please. So Chris is here and he's in my butterfly guard. So two feet are inside. It's very important to realize guys that I need to keep my knees wide. If I keep my knees narrow, he can push them to the side and now I'm screwed. This means nothing, this guard sucks. So make sure, if this was like a Bart Simpson slingshot, you must keep him between the slingshot. As soon as my slingshot isn't facing him, I'm in trouble, okay? So I've got my slingshot set up and I've got it as wide as possible. Okay, so the problem now is I can't do anything with this. These are long, long levers, obviously long for me because I'm like a lanky guy. And even if I wasn't, there's just no leverage here. I need to attach myself to his upper body. But the problem is I have two arms, he has two arms. So I don't want to play strength versus strength. So I'm going to take two of my arms and attach them to one of his. And I'm going to attach myself at a joint. So how I'm gonna do that is like this. My right hand is gonna be like, I'm shaking someone's hand under his armpit, okay? So I put the right hand over, and now my left hand is gonna swim over just like I'm doing a freestyle swimming stroke, okay? So I shake someone's hand, and now I reach over, and when I grab my hands together, it'll be right hand palm up, left hand palm down. Okay, so you guys can practice that even sitting where you are now. The right hand goes through and then we come over and it will be right hand palm up, left hand palm down. Just like you're carrying a tray as a fancy waiter with your right hand. So that's where you're gonna end up. But I can't put my hand through like this. It'll get all caught. I must go this way and now come over and now I can get my clamp. Now, I wanna make sure, roll my gear up here. I want to make sure that when I go to clamp him down, that I don't want to be above his deltoid. So if we see this seam here on Chris's gi, I need to make sure my left forearm, guys, is downstream of it. I, do, I want to dominate his shoulder just below it. I don't want to include his shoulder. Then I have to fight against his back muscles and all that stuff. I want nothing to do with that. So as I grab him, I am just gonna dominate just the arm, okay? So I've just got his arm here, and now I'm going to pull it to me as hard as I can, okay? Now that I've got his arm here, right? Just lose something with me. Once I've attached his tricep to me, I'm gonna hug it as tight as I can, right, with my arms, and now I'm gonna clamp my elbows, and now I can go for my first submission which is just gonna be, it's not gonna be a cutting arm bar, it's gonna directly attack the shoulder. So I'm just gonna hold here and I'm just gonna tweak that up. It's no different to me doing this, except I'm just taking out the middle man. Here, okay? For those of you who like palm up grip, like we started this technique, you can use palm up, like this. Okay, if you like palm down, Go palm down. Just see how it affects you, okay? So I know people who like palm up, I know people who like palm down. Personally, I start palm up, and then I go palm down to get the tap, okay? So let's have a look at doing this technique again. I start here in my butterfly guard, and I put my right hand under his. I now grab, and I'm gonna bring his shoulder to me. Now for me guys, I now switch my hands over. Now, 
Okay, personally, I switch this way. And now I keep him hugged to me and I just talk that shoulder up. Okay, so this is like a Kimura, we're just cutting out the middle mat. Okay, but what we're gonna find is when Chris defends this, he's gonna walk straight into a whole bunch of other attacks. So that's the first one. So if we do it from a different angle here, I've got Chris and I've got him here and I bring him to me and now I switch my hands over, tap. Okay, very simple. You'll see later that when Chris goes to defend this, he's gonna walk into a world of trouble. But even here, if I couldn't get a tap, guys, I can go straight away from my Kimura. If he straightens his arm over my head here, I can go straight away to my cutting arm bar, okay? Not to mention, obviously, going through for omoplatas, okay? So one time at speed, I'm here, I'm gonna bring him down and just get a tap, okay? The key is, guys, we don't wanna use our arms independent of our body. We just want to hug him to our body and then tilt. So it's my full body just against his shoulder. Okay, I don't want to use my arms. Okay, as much as possible, I attach his shoulder to my body and then I turn it the way it doesn't like to go. Okay, but stay tight. You must stay tight for this. Okay, so let's do this with our partners one for one. Okay, let's go. Thanks for watching the video, guys. For more videos, click here to subscribe to this channel to get all of our awesome videos, click here. And if you'd like to have our hour-long series for free on foot locks and how to defend foot locks and leg attacks of all kinds, please click here. I'm Coach Tom, guys. I'll see you next time.